Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and in today's building video I will be sharing with you guys how I built up the Lord Arcanum and the Evocator Prime. Two models that really shouldn't have given me too much trouble, but you'll see by the end of it what hassle they put me through at the very end. Stay tuned. Alright, so I started off building the Evocator Prime first. I thought this wasn't going to be too much of a hard on. I thought the Lord Arcanum was going to be the tougher one to build. And there wasn't a lot of pieces to this guy. I clipped them off pretty quick and cleaned them up pretty quick as well. There's not many too fragile parts to really take care of. I've been doing Night Haunt. Building Night Haunt for the last few weeks so much that I'm, I've gotten so careful at uh, cleaning bits off the sprue because they're so fragile. But with the Stormcast you're allowed a little bit of uh, ease with that because they're a bit more bulkier. So the first part was to put the head part together with kind of the head thing. Um, that went together pretty easily and then you kind of now the rules or not the rules but the setup for it here in the instructions is to put the head in but usually with a lot of these new models there's like a part under the neck where there's like slots in and a holes there but not with this one it says to put it in before you put the other part of the body in but that wasn't really working for me so as you can see here i kind i tried to get it to fit in properly but i ended up just taking the head out putting the two bodies together and then gluing the head in after that it was just the easiest way to do it after that um, it made more sense to do it like that. You just pop in and out regardless. So I went ahead and did that and then everything kind of went okay but there was a gap on the shoulder that was kind of uh, coming out a little bit more. So I used my gripper thing to hold that in. Uh, gave it a couple of minutes and the glue straightened that right up. There was no gap on the shoulder. So I put them onto the base. Now these new bases for these, well not new but um, instead of just like circle holes that have like the hexagon shape so the hole really stiff which is excellent so i put his left arm in with the stave and he looks really good i'm really happy how he turned out uh, he was pretty simple to put together now this guy when i moved on to the lord arcanum this was going really smoothly it was going too smoothly now there's a lot of part a lot more parts to clip off the sprue and you have to be very careful around the stave part right here um because that's that stave is really it's not fragile but i have an awful feeling if you hit off it the wrong way it is going to kind of snap off and it's going to be really unfortunate that happens because the top part connects to his arm so you're gonna to have to be very careful taking this off and uh, the rest of it is okay there is two pieces that are his kind of claw more like a, a toe with the nail on it. there's two really small pieces for that that you're gonna to have to look after very carefully when you're cleaning that up and make sure not to lose it it's an incredibly two incredibly small pieces them two pieces are um, so I started off with the head again and this one was pretty straightforward as usual just glued the two parts in together uh, but this guy did have a part to connect into the body so instead of just like plonking it into the hole in the neck uh, this kind of had a little hole in to fit into the body and everything was going smooth so far everything clipped off nicely everything glued or not everything glued um, everything cleaned up nicely and it was fitting okay there's a few little tricky parts with these new models to try and fit perfectly because you can't they're not just like arm into socket arm into socket legs onto torso you know you have to kind of fiddle around a little bit you can see here that i had tried to figure out what's the best way to get this guy to fit in perfectly without kind of putting too much pressure on it and um, just like a minute of that maybe and you'll get it no problem and uh, for now it was going smoothly but near the end you will see that this it did get a bit unfortunate near the end but i fixed it so don't worry too much and um, so here we have the talons this is his little small feet i don't know why he did it like this or why he just couldn't give him his feet and um, all is one piece uh, which was a little bit annoying but you get it in it's just a little annoying so this part right here that i just finished or that kind of medallion thing on his chest that it was a big problem for me when i got the claws on everything was on and all i had to do was push the two pieces together the two body pieces and i connected on the body and i connected on his body that little piece made a big problem for me because you will see now when we see it now it'll be coming up in a second after a bit of like moving around and i got his neck on it fitted in properly and there was a big gap underneath his chest which wasn't too bad because you can't see under his chest but when you looked up a bit further where that medallion thing is there was an even bigger gap and that's a prominent part of the model you can see so you're going to want to kind of you know take it off and try and fix that and uh, here I am putting on his neck now this this was a little confusing to try and put on I couldn't put it on from this angle but when I turned it over like this bingo I was able to get it straight away so that's like the two bits put together now this is where it is you put push two of them in and this should be the last thing you do apart from the base and 
I was thinking this is nice and easy, everything's going well. Just make sure these fit in properly, but that small medallion piece was an absolute pain. You'll see here when I try and put them in. Actually, I think a lot of this clip here is just me trying to figure out where the hell is this part coming from. Because another big gap actually is on his head. If it doesn't fit in properly, there's a big kind of really big gap going right through the center of the griff's head. Um, and there's a part on his shoulder as well that doesn't fit properly if it's not glued perfectly, if it's not put in together. And there's the big gap, you can see it right there, and it goes right up his chest and i just couldn't figure out what was causing it so i took it out and i clipped one of the bigger sprue bits to try and fix it and it wasn't working so i figured out it was the medallion so what i did was i took it out the medallion piece uh glued it together and it fit perfectly there's no gap here as you can see everything was looking good and um, so after about 10 minutes i took them off and this is how i solved the problem i just clipped off the very top part of the medallion here and what you'll see is on the underside of it there's a little hole where the medallion comes down just like shove it right back into that put it into that little hole fits perfectly apart from that little tiny piece this model wasn't too bad to put together you know just take your time with it there's no need to rush with it and you'll get along with it fine but that little tiny piece really aggravated me a lot so here we have the evocator prime and um, the, the problem i see with the stormcast is a lot of them kind of look the same you can get that a lot with like space marine armies as well but when it comes to heroes they really stand out i absolutely love this guy i think he is awesome he has i love give me a sword any day but with a stave as well just works perfectly and then we have the lord arcanum on the griff or not the lord arcanum yeah the lord arcanum on the griff which is an amazing model he stands up so high he looks like he's leading these guys into battle and he is ready for battle i absolutely love this model it's a brilliant counterpart for the night haunt guys that are on steeds as well so once you have all these lined up on battle and you have them all like next to each other and it's going to look so nice especially when they're going to be painted as well but anyway let me know what you guys think about this video i love putting these guys together there was a bit of a trouble as i said with some parts but that's part of the hobby that's what we have to put up with all the time but anyway if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment if you want if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video